Hi guys, DW Berman here with another video for graphics stuff for my graphics stuff channel. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a new Lightwave video tutorial or a new After Effects tutorial. I've been busy with work and hobbies and other things, so I haven't spent much time at home doing that kind of stuff. But I did find an online 3D model converter the other day that I thought would be kind of interesting to show off. And if we click here, we see our file formats. It converts, it loads in about 30 different file formats and it can export about eight. Of course, these last three here are the only ones that Lightwave does not have a native exporter for. So if you need to export a PLY, JSON, or X file format, then you can use this tool to export from Lightwave. Otherwise, you might need it to kind of import one of these other file formats that we don't have an importer for natively. So let's go back to the main page and again, this is at uh, greentoken.de slash online conv um, we have a little queue here when you get to the page for the first time it just has an add file button so if we want to add a file we can add a file so I'll just click on that and hit open and there we go we've added a file and nothing happens but that's okay we can add more than one file at a time so we can go them add them individually or we can control click or shift click and uh, do that kind of stuff so let's uh, add a couple more object formats in there so here we go we have three things queued up three objects queued up and I can click the start uploading button and there we go they are all uploaded now um, once they are uploaded, we need to click Next. And the Next is not these big, beautiful blue buttons. The Next is this little button down here in the corner. And here's where we pick our file formats we want to export to. In my case, I'm just going to do OBJ, because I know I can read it in, and we can take a look at it. So those are the different file formats we can export to. You can select more than one at a time if you want to, but we'll just do that one. And we'll click Next. And here we go, press start to begin conversion. Click on start. We wait for a while for the files to be converted. And uh, there we go, there are our files. We just need to download them. Notice there is a donation button. This website does run off donations. So if you use this for uh, something serious, you may want to chip in a few bucks. Okay, let's show all downloads. I didn't really need to do that. Let's load up Lightwave. Let's bring up Modeler. And uh, here's the model that I converted before already. So let me just clear that out. And we'll load in the one I just saved from there. So there's Red Cup 2 again. And uh, do, 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 do. is it going to load? Did I do something wrong? That's weird. It worked the first time. Now it didn't work. This is a great demo. Hey, look, that logo works. I wonder if something weird happened with that. So as you can see, it may have uh, had trouble with one of the things, but uh, it seemed to bring in this other one, so that's fine. Let's try that other logo that I had, the V-Saber logo. This is an old model. Notice that the uh, model is now uh, triangles. I don't think this was triangles when I saved it. Uh, this one here definitely was not uh, triangulated. Uh, parts of the M may have been because I wanted to avoid rendering errors. So uh, let's clear everything out again and see if there's some weird reason the red cup did not load. That's the biggest one. And there it is. Okay, I don't know why it didn't load before, but apparently it was an issue with Lightwave. Not sure why I'm getting this, um, why it's uh, red on the edges and not the center, because uh, I think I used the Fast Fresnel, but it did keep my basic colors, so that's kind of interesting, kind of cool. Anyway, there it is, simple object cre uh, converter. Now there is a sister site to this, which is also kind of nifty, a little less useful for me because I already have software to take care of all this, but you notice it says do not upload texture. There's a separate converter compression tool for them here. You click here and it takes you to imageconv.com. And so we can actually convert between a few different image formats. Um, 
up to 15 at a time, 15 files at a time. So there we go. That's just a neat little thing. Thanks for watching, and uh, check out liberty3d.com for some commercial tutorials. And if we go over here to my Dana's videos page, you can see the commercial tutorials that I have made and I sell on the site. If it ever loads, it's working on it. There we go. I have a mechanical pixel this mechanical slash pixel displays bundle where I bundled all of the uh, pixel displays and mechanical displays videos together. There's Space Tune Volume One and uh, Understanding Gradients, which is a comprehensive uh, gradient survey where I tried to go through and cover all the different gradient types within Lightwave and all the different places. Although I did miss the advanced camera, may have to pick that up sometime. And also a uh, digital bullet hits bundle where it combines the first three tutorials that I did. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to this channel, and uh, whenever I get around to making another video, you'll be notified of it. So uh, thanks again for watching, and have a great day.